Hello everyone. In today's video, I would like to show you what are the new features and fixes in Windows 11 build 25126. So in the first change that we notice is that in the account settings page improvements. In October, they introduced the subscription management in settings and accounts, which enables you to view your Microsoft 365 subscription in Windows 11. With this build, they are making it easier for you to view all the supported Office Perpetual products such as Office 2021 or 2019 associated with your accounts within settings and accounts. So if you go to settings and accounts, uh, you can see everything here. Now I don't have any subscription of Office currently and I have it with a different account on my laptop. So uh, it doesn't show up here. So I will put a screenshot which they have provided which also represents the same thing. This update also allows you to view all the supported Microsoft 365 products licensed to your accounts and you can also view the detail details about the product or install office by clicking view details button. Now this information is shown on the Microsoft account management page and you will now be able to see these details in Windows 11 via settings and accounts. In addition to this change, there are also some fixes. That is, in general, uh, they have fixed the issue which caused some insiders to experience a bug check with the error in PCI.SYS causing a rollback trying to install the latest builds in the diff channel. They also did work to mitigate the issue causing the program compatibility assistant uh, service to use an unexpectedly large amount of CPU for some insiders. Uh, after upgrading to the latest insider builds in the dev channel. In the start menu, if the touch keyboard is docked, it should no longer unexpectedly dismiss when trying to name, uh, trying to edit the name of a folder in start. Now in search, they have fixed a high hitting explorer.exe crash that could happen while using the search. And in settings, they have the preview image under uh, personalization slash lock screen should now no longer be backwards while using an Arabic or Hebrew display language. In task manager, if explorer.exe has hung, then it should no longer hang the task manager. And they have also fixed an issue when the context menu were menus weren't following the same mode that is light or dark as the task bar manager itself for some insiders. They fixed a typo in the minimize on use tooltip. Now if you have hidden the graphs on the side of the performance page, the color of the circles used now show or match with the graph in the summary view. They have addressed an issue when uh, where the responding status, not responding status for certain apps wasn't being reflected on the process page. So these are most of the changes in uh, fixes they have given. Now there are some few more fixes. Uh, I will put the link in the description. You can just go there and check. Also there are some known issues. So before you upgrade, you might want to see them. So I've put the link in the description. So you can just go and check them out. That is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do like, share and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one.